It is said that Michelangelo saw in every rough block of stone a thing of beauty, awaiting the master hand to bring it into reality. Even so, within each there reposes the divine image, awaiting the master hand of faith, and the chisel of patience to bring it into manifestation. And that divine image is revealed and realized as stainless, selfless love. Hidden deep in every human heart, though frequently covered up with a mass of hard and almost impenetrable accretions, is the spirit of divine love, whose holy and spotless essence is undying and eternal. It is the truth in man, it is that which belongs to the Supreme, that which is real and immortal. All else changes and passes away. This alone is permanent and imperishable. And to realize this love by ceaseless diligence in the practice of the highest righteousness, to live in it and to become fully conscious in it, is to enter into immortality here and now, is to become one with truth, one with God, one with the central heart of all things, and to know our own divine and eternal nature. To reach this love, to understand and experience it, one must work with great persistency and diligence upon his heart and mind, must ever renew his patience and keep strong his faith, for there will be much to remove, much to accomplish, before the divine image is revealed in all its glorious beauty. He who strives to reach and to accomplish the divine will be tried to the very utmost, and this is absolutely necessary, for how else could one acquire that sublime patience without which there was no real wisdom, no divinity? Ever and anon, as he proceeds, all his work will seem futile, and his efforts appear to be thrown away. Every now and then, a hasty touch will mar his image, and perhaps when he imagines his work is almost completed, he will find what he imagined to be the beautiful form of divine love utterly destroyed, and he must begin again with his past bitter experience to guide and help him. But he who has resolutely set himself to realize the highest recognizes no such thing as defeat. All failures are apparent, not real. Every slip, every fall, every return to selfishness is a lesson learned, an experience gained, from which a golden grain of wisdom is extracted, helping the striver toward the accomplishment of his lofty object. To recognize that of our vices we can frame a ladder if we will but tread beneath our feet each deed of shame.